Hello and welcome back to my Flight Simulator 2024 tutorial series. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to manually load a flight plan into the BC-12, which is the medevac plane for the career mode. Um, it's also a very nice plane to fly. Um, so, as always, the easiest way to load a flight plan into any plane that's kind of got avionics and diamonds and flight plan ability is to load a flight plan into your EFB. So here's one I made on the online flight planning tool. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a video, I'll link it in the top. Um, so I'll load that. You can see it's from EGAC, which is Belfast City, to EGNJ, which is Humberside. So if you want to load this in, you'd hit Fire Plan with ATC, send route to avionics, which I'm not going to press now, and that will load it straight into the system. Um, this video, I'm going to go over how to do this all manually. Um, so we will go down to the instrument view, into this instrument and scroll out a little bit so the first thing you want to do is hit your origin and check that's correct so EGAC which it is and you want to press this destination button um, and it will select it in white but if you don't have a mouse and keyboard you would input your destination so EGNJ into here and that would input into here a trick if you have mouse and keyboard is to press this little white button here and it'll flash and when you press it you'll get a magenta box and you can type with your mouse and keyboard so EG NJ and then you just want to hit insert it will put a line in here in blue which means it's inserted you just want to hit activate next is to press this tab here you want to select your departure so again check the EFB we're doing the SE2 GET departure from runway 22 so runway 22 SE2 GAT to ringer and insert and then we're going to the depart, uh, the arrival or approach. There's no arrivals for Humberside, but we will be doing the ILS 20 via Kim 1 Humberside on runway 20. So runway 20, ILS 20, Kim 1, insert, and then got it in blue here. So we hit activate, change it to green and white. So green is the leg you're on, white is the flight plan. So you can see we've got a disconnect here between ringer and the next bit where it says discontinuity here. So first of all, click and drag on this screen to scroll down. We would hit discontinuity, hit delete waypoint, and that will remove that. Now, as I said, I made a flight plan on the flight planning tool, so I'll put this on the screen now, um, and we will insert that. So the next thing, we want to hit ringer here, and amend route, scroll down again, and on the flight plan, you can see it's got airways. So the first airway would be L10 to Pennell. So we'll hit join. Hit the airway we want to join, which is L10. And the bit we want to get off at, which is Pennell, is here. And hit insert. And we scroll down to Pennell. And here again, we hit join. The airway we will be joining is the UL70. And we'll be getting off at Desig. So again, scroll down. Select Desig, hit Insert, scroll down again. Then we would be using the UL975 airway to app up. So we hit Join, UL975, scroll down to where we want to get off, which is app up, and hit Insert. Um, on the flight plan, the next one would do exactly the same thing. We'd hit Join, then the L975 to goals, but I'm just going to show you, you can hit this box here. And again, just type in directly a waypoint. So goals, and then hit enter. That will enter that waypoint. And once we've done all this, we scroll out here. I haven't yet learned how to scroll on this map, but we can scroll all the way out and just verify that that flight plan looks about right, which it does. We would then hit activate. You can see they've all gone into white. And the flight plan is now all white which means that is activated next thing we want to make sure so we can be on the route screen which just tells us the airways and the departures from we want to hit the cross screen i want to scroll to a waypoint that we want to be at our cruising altitude so we'll say slyda here we'll hit that and we'll hit cross we'll hit altitude at and we'll put in the altitude we want to cross that at, so 21,000 feet, and we'd hit apply. 
So this is for if the ATC tells you to cross a waypoint at a certain altitude, this is how you set it so your vertical navigation sets that. So we hit apply and again hit activate. To activate that we can see now it's asking for flight level 210 or 21,000 feet, all these waypoints until it starts automatically descending us to get down to our approach. But that is how you enter the um, flight plan manually. I'll now I'll go to the hold short and I will show you how to take off and arm the autopilot. So I will see you at the hold short. We're here at the hold short. So at this point I would set up the plane for takeoff. So I'm going to drop to two notches of flaps because we're going to do a short takeoff. Uh, I'm going to set the altitude. So the cruising altitude that we've gone for is 21,000 feet. So I'll set that here. So confirm 21,000 feet. Um, I'll make sure it's in flight level change mode and arm the nav. As soon as this nav is actually armed into the autopilot, that's when I'll engage the autopilot after takeoff. So I will do that now. I'll request takeoff from the tower. Belfast Tower SCW 23 Foxtrot Charlie Whiskey 409 are ready for IFR departure runway 22. SCW 23 Foxtrot Charlie Whiskey 409 or QNH 1001. Cleared for takeoff runway 22. So we've got takeoff clearance, acknowledge that. And after we've acknowledged it, we can takeoff, take off the parking brake and line two, up with the runway. Two, SCW 23 Foxtrot Charlie Whiskey for zero niner. Just sequentially applying brakes because this plane speeds up very fast for taxiing. But it does turn on a dime, so yeah, you can very easily line it up with the runway. Go by the parking brakes. Got about half power on the engines. Full power release, release parking brakes and keep aligned with the rudder. Speed is alive. 80 knots rotate. Flaps up. Gear up. Nav's armed in the autopilot, so I'll arm the autopilot now. Contact Scottish Centre. And now the plane will fly itself on that flight plan that we uh, inputted. So there we go. Um, I hope that's helped some of you out on to how to manually put this into the flight plan. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments. If this video has helped you out, then uh, just Drop us a like on the video and I will do the how to fly the approach and landing procedures in the uh, in the next video. So uh, yeah, thank you very much.